Hello everyone and welcome to Midpoint Security video. On this video I'll be showing a basic way on how to connect HID devices to Credo ID software. For this tutorial I'll be using Vertex Evo V2000 and I have it already connected to my network and ready to go. Being able to connect the, the device to Credo ID software, Netborn user settings have to be configured for the device through their graphical user interface. To do so, open up a web browser and enter the device's IP address. By default, every HED controller is configured to respond to a fixed address. If this is the first time connecting to the device, in the username field, just enter admin and leave the password to field empty. In this case, my HID device password is already configured. After reaching the device graphical user interface, there are a few key points that needs to be configured. That is IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, host IP address, here I am interval, and login password. After these settings have been configured, press submit. It will be shown what has been changed and press save to confirm the settings. After that is done, the device is ready to be connected to Credo ID software. By default, I'm using the administrator login. In some cases, Credo ID software will instantly find a device that can connect to it. If this doesn't happen, click on search for new devices and the software will look for any device that can connect to it. On the top right corner, there's a communications panel which shows how many devices are online, retrying to send data, out of sync or offline. The device is out of sync at the moment, or in some cases can even be offline, this is natural. When connecting any device to Credo ID software for the first time, a synchronization between the device and the software is needed. Now before synchronizing the device with the software, settings have to be checked for the HID devices in the details panel, as some settings might be incorrect. Usually there are two settings that get affected by this. Here I am interval and HID user credentials. In my situation, username and password are incorrect, so I'll change them. After changes have been made, save the settings. After that is done, a full upload is required for the device, which will send all the needed data to it and synchronize it with the software. To do that, either click Upload All Data to Controller right here, or go to a Communications panel, click Out of Sync, find the device, click Details, and Upload All Data to Controller. In the Communications panel, we can see that the device goes online, and the progress bar below indicates a data transfer between the device and the software. After a full upload is done, the device should reboot, as some settings only save after a reboot. After a while, the device should show up online. And that is how to connect an HED device with Credo ID software. For more information on HED devices and Credo ID, please read the video's description below. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at the midpointsecurity.com. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant day.